Imagine 91 billion light years traveled like that. The times in your full space. The wrinkle time has come. Is it real? Do you really want to know? On March 9th, the mind bending adventure comes to life. You're going to be tested. Be a warrior. A wrinkle in time. Rated PG, March 9th. Call me Mrs. What's It. Mrs. Who? No, Mrs. What's It. Mrs. Who is, oh, she's like a billion years older and way more knowledgeable. What can I do for you, Mrs. What's It? I called her ceiling sheets. Guys, she's harmless. You're six. Come on. What do you know about harmless? Have I ever been wrong? Well, one of these days you might be Charles Wallace. Oh, I highly doubt that. He's one of the greatest minds in recent history. He's prodigious. But of course, we can't take any credit for our talents. It's how we use them that counts. Let's all talk tessery, <laughs> otherwise known as the wrinkling of time and space. My father believes that we can travel the universe instantaneously. So you fall to space. Or like, wrinkle. We're joined by Dr. Amy Mainzer and Tracy Drain from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory to help us break down the method behind the magic. When I read A Wrinkle in Time as a kid, I was fascinated by the idea of tessering. It would be amazing to travel a billion light years in a snap of a finger, but as we all know, that's more science fiction than science fact. Science hasn't offered us any solid proof that these higher dimensions exist. The speed of light is the ultimate speed limit, and even our fastest spacecraft can't go that fast. You're kidding. Do I look like I'm kidding? But you never know, maybe someday someone will discover proof that the universe has more to it than we know right now. So maybe regular people like us could try and test her to another dimension sometime? Why don't we give it a try right now? Let's do this. Okay. Ladies, are you in? Okay. Are Let's you try in? it. We love Let's experiments. Ladies, are you in? Tesser. Did it work? Mm, not this time. Not this time. <laughs> <laughs>